Guys, it's been a crazy week. So, hopefully the heater's not bothering you. There's just a lot to say in my head and uh, I'm trying to get it all out. Bear with me guys. So, in this video, judging by the thumbnail and the title, there won't be any fishing in this video. But if you stick around, I'll tell you why. So, let's just start with the most important news first. This is the most important news I've probably ever received in my life. Um, a couple days ago, I found out I'm going to be, drum roll, a dad. It's crazy, it's crazy to think about, um, but it's crazy. I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm happy. Um, obviously I've never been a dad before, I've never done this before, but you know, it's part of the reason why I haven't been consistent, but uh, I feel like this makes YouTube even more serious to me. Because I don't know if you've ever sat, like think about it this way. I don't know if you've ever sat down and, and talked to your dad or your mom or your grandma or your grandpa and asked them questions and they told you all these unique stories about growing up. And that's kind of how I look at YouTube now. Now that I have a kid on the way, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. So now that I have a kid on the way, he or she will be able to kind of like look back into dad's past and like, you know, all his stories will be there. And you know what I mean on his platform now granted I've been doing YouTube for about truly for a year, but I have a, a Couple maybe like a hundred videos um, Now the videos that you're seeing are only you know the videos I have up which are the, the fishing videos All the videos that you're seeing are videos that I've kind of niched down and turned this channel into just a fishing channel So I might start like a little family channel a little vlog channel whenever he or she shows up just to kind of document it so they can see it because I always wish that I could look back and kind of see what I did as a kid or just had to have it like, you know, doc, how would you say it? Uh, documented. But uh, yeah, man, that's that's crazy right there. I'm gonna be a dad, so I'm pretty excited. Um, you know, sorry if I'm not jumping right now or freaking out, I already did all that. Um, and even probably dropped a couple tears, but we're not gonna get into that. Uh, I just got off work, so I'm pretty tired. But we're gonna bang these videos out. So. Now let's move forward. We got the biggest news out the way. Now let's talk about the channel and what we're trying to do here. So recently I caught some new baits. Let me go ahead and just show that. I don't know if you guys got these yet. Right there, I'm gonna see if I can't get that looking good for you. Those are the rattle bots. There's that one. These are both the crawl. These are basically lipless crankbaits, but they're different. And I don't know if you can hear it. Different rattle too, it's like a deep, Deep rattle. So this is a two and one, uh, two and a half inch bait, uh, half ounce, I believe. Yeah, half ounce lipless crank bait that uh, I picked up. They're brand new. They just came out recently. So those are the kind of things that I have that I want to show you guys. I also have some other baits, but I'm not going to show you. So why have I not been able to fish? Winter storm warning. I live in Texas. This stuff makes no sense, bro. It's 28 degrees with a real fill of 19. The whole entire week. Let's just read some numbers off. Today's Friday, so let's read some numbers off. Saturday, 39. Sunday, 34. Monday, 21. 27. 36. 37. On and on. It, it's been icing. It's been raining. It's been freezing cold. and just can't make it happen right now, boys. And that's like one of the big reasons, besides the fact that I found out I'm having a kid and I haven't been able to go out and rip lips. That didn't work. So... But nonetheless, today we're gonna kinda of talk about the rig that I have right here. So what I'm working with right here, there's a green kayak as you can see right here. This thing's dirty. Keep in mind, I don't believe I've posted this kayak yet. This is the Pescador Pro 100 right there. Pescador Pro 100 over here, Perception, or Perception, okay. Perception. Um, I've actually had this kayak for a minute. Oh. 
never posted it because I haven't, I bought it back in the winter time. So I really wasn't able to even just go out there and kind of rip it around. Now, kind of a disclaimer here, guys. I'm working on getting a truck. Used to have a truck that we towed this thing around with. That's another reason we haven't been able to get it out there. And they just got to my house um, that I moved to. So they just got here anyways. All right. So I'm kind of everywhere because there's just a lot going on in my head. So basically, this is what we're going to be working with. But like I said, the disclaimer is hopefully once I get the truck and everything, this will probably be a couple months before I actually do what I'm going to do. I want to upgrade this kayak to something crazier. It's obviously another kayak. I can't get a boat right now. Maybe a year or two we can get a boat. I don't know. But uh, we want to upgrade this thing to the Old Town Road with the Minn Kota, I think. I think 120. So basically just it's a kayak with a trailer motor and it's super stable. And it's, it's just going to be perfect for fishing. But uh, yeah, right now we're working with the Perception Pescador Pro 100. Bought it in the winter time. Uh, fished at it a little bit. Don't even know if I flipped the fish in it yet. I've only been in it probably about four times. So this red kayak over here is trash. And so are, so are these. These aren't ideal for kayaks, obviously. But uh, this red kayak I never use. So right here is what we're gonna be working with, y'all. So a couple things about this kayak real quick. Storage in the back. So my foot is about, hmm, I wear a size 12. So there's one 12. Two, with a little dry storage right here boom okay so I mean pretty good storage in the back um, nothing crazy you know it's a pretty cheap kayak I believe it's around seven something 700 I think it was made even in 2016 right here we got two rod holders which is another problem because I got excuse the mess y'all more than two rods I got the lose right there, lose right there, Abba Garcia, and those are like my babies, dude. I gotta have both bait casters and my lose spinning combo. All right, so I gotta figure, I think we're gonna do the milk carton thing. We're gonna talk about upgrades in another video or something. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna do to upgrade. I just kinda want to show you guys something. Moving on from where the poles go, we have the seat. The seat's actually really comfortable. So if you ever get this kayak, I just want you to know that this kayak, has two different levels. So your seat straps in with these bungee deals right here. So they'll strap, this seat will strap right in. This is your low position. As you can see, this thing's low to the ground. Probably be more stable if you're low, but I like to ride up high, especially because some of the water likes to get over there and you don't want your butt getting soaking wet. So seat's pretty good. Little handles right here that are made in. As you can see, our paddle goes right here. Pretty nice little spot with the grooves. It's always good to have this because when I was fishing in this, it's hard to it's hard to have the paddle in your hand while you're trying to throw a fishing line. It's just a mess. You, it's good to have that. And I can't wait to drop this in the creek. I had this thing in the rivers, or not in the creeks. Can't wait to drop this thing in the lakes. I had this thing in the creeks and it would just blow all on the bank. Couldn't keep it steady. And just kayaks, I've never owned one before. So we're moving on. Got some scupper holes, obviously. There's scupper holes all through this thing. I need some scupper hole plugs. Okay, those are like some of my bucket list things to get for this kayak. I hate scupper holes. Um, they just get wet and make everything else wet. So we also got some tracks right here. We're gonna mount us a, a fish finder on here. We got some more storage up here. Not bad, cup holder. I gotta clean this thing out. Haven't had time. I was gonna clean it out, but it's freaking below freezing outside. You know, so we got tracks over here. We got our foot rest up here, and then we got some more storage. And I believe our transducer, when we get our fish finder, can go down one of these scupper holes it's made for it. But that right there, guys, is a brief of the Perception Pescador, or yeah, Perception Pescador Pro 100. Whew, lots going on, guys. Hey, man, short video. I believe it's a short video. If you're here and you're still rapping with me, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for tuning in. It really feels like a family now. It really does. And I'm even more motivated to do YouTube, like I said, just to document my life. So we're going to be getting this big green machine out there. Drop down in the comments. Help me name this thing. Um, 
get ready to see, you know, in the future, maybe my daughter, my son, I'm not sure. And uh, hopefully we can get back on routine and back to the right videos later on. But if you're rocking with me, I appreciate it. If you still want to get in on that giveaway, make sure you go over to my Instagram and follow me. Drop a DM so I can find you. It'll be a lot easier. So anyways, appreciate y'all for tuning in for today's episode, man. Remember, it's cold outside, but March is right around the corner, and it's going to turn up. We're going to make some fire videos, man. So I'm going to catch you on the flip side. See you.